What is up everyone, this is Karen here, welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. In my hands I have a Redmi Note 9 Pro a ROM which is compatible with all the mutual devices, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro and Redmi Note 9 S, Cortana, Excalibur, Gram or that other things which is maybe Joyuse. All these devices are supported and which is this ROM, this one is AOSPK, Android Open Source Project or you can say Android Open Source Kraken Project if I'm not wrong. It's like that one if I go for the Android version 11. This one is based on Android version 11 as expectedly. This is just an AOSP based custom ROM but with all the Google apps available pre-installed. The ROM does not include any kind of feature. You can simply say that this is a Lineage OS clone version with all those AOSP apps removed and these uh, pixel apps are added here. Silent Kernel is pre-installed. How is this ROM going on in this video? We're going to take a look at a brief look at this Android version. 11 custom room stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started guys the build which we're talking about right now which has this latest general security patch this is the latest build i have installed a kraken project aosp based custom room as you can see aosp mail tool and it has a silent kernel pre-installed which is based on android version 11 in android version 11 i have used many custom rooms till now and this one is might be one of the great kind of custom rooms ever i have used why because of the performance not actually the performance but the stability is quite good almost everything seems to be working here might be some minor bugs but it's not a big deal almost every major thing is working fine camera hdr wi-fi bluetooth mobile data etc everything is working and as i previously told you it's almost same like the lineage os which does not include any kind of feature any kind of single menu but in lineage os if you go for the settings options if you go here in the system option you might see these options we already know buttons status bar and gestures and system profiles and these are same things which are available in this build also so it's kind of a lineage os but with all those osp apps removed and added the pixel apps it does not come with the two variants or a vanilla build it only comes with the one variant which is the google apps build which i have installed on my device after using it for approximately of 13 to 14 hours maybe more than 15 hours it's quite good and i'm using it from some time didn't got any kind of major issues let me show you my battery stats last full charge seven hours ago more than four hours of screen on time from 93% to 66% which is approximately 27%. Let me show you some brief stats from the Franco Kernel Manager. Active drain is 5.97% per hour, idle drain 0.44% per hour which is not bad which is not great because many custom rooms are far better than this but it's quite good you can use this build as a daily driver. The things which lagged in this build which I was looking for but I didn't found it first of all if you go for the status bar you can see there's no Volti icon and you can see there's no Wo Wi-Fi icon but actually both of these things are working fine here it has a Google dialer option available and you can simply use that and you can simply move here you can dial any number and you'll be able to directly call that and the call recording option is also available here so no issues available here and there everything seems to be quite good and satisfied we have the Google camera go edition pre-installed this build is a mere tool build so it can be installed on all those devices and you'll get the same look this camera go edition pre-installed which you can use of course it's up to you if you want to use that or if you don't want to use that other things quite good if we go for the magisk manager in my case i'm using the latest magisk v21.0 and if you go for the safety net status if it banking apps are working or not if, if banking apps will work or not by default if you install the magisk latest version you'll see a testation fail like this so you'll not be able to use the banking apps but the thing is if you enable that hide magisk from the settings and if you if you download that app called hide props config maybe this is kind of the module which you need to install and then like this one which is the model which i was talking about magisk hide props config you just need to install that to pass a safety net status and if you need a proper guide for that i have a video on that make sure to check out that in my channel let's moving on to let's move on to the settings and take a look at if we get any kind of features as i previously mentioned no features included but the thing is it's android version 11 so the best part is you have the notification history options available you can simply enable the notification history from here you'll be able to get all those notifications if you miss them going for the display section we have live display option available styles and wallpapers expectedly available if you go here if you want to create your own style 
we only have the four fonts available which you already get in the stock android 11 so if you're looking for a stock android 11 this might be a very good choice for you we have the rubik fonts source sense and the Lato, which were expected all those fonts are available for example if you choose this one click on next here we have the option choosing the sam icons victor and the rounded one we have this option of circular Kai and Fed, whichever supports, whichever you, whichever suits you, you can simply enable that one. For example, if you choose a Victor, go here. We have many icons, many colors customization. If you want to choose the orange one, you can choose that one. We have the red option available. For example, if you choose red one, you can also customize the shape. Click on next, and almost everything is done. And this is done. This was quite easy. Styles and wallpaper seems to be working here. Other things are weak on blog, etc. And we also have the ambient display option available. Now we have these icons are changed. Icons colors are changed actually. Like that, we have the red colors options available right now. If you go for other things, privacy, location, security, etc. Same here. Fingerprint, etc. Available, but no face lock and no app locker. Nothing else is available here. Other things, same Xiaomi Pass has the features, Mi Sound Enhancer, Touch Boost, FPS Info Overlay, and the USB Fast Charge, which is one of my favorite features are available. Other things I have already shown you. If you go for the system, status bar related customizations, which you get in Lineage OS, so not gonna talk about this. Just install the Lineage OS and you'll understand. Buttons, same kind of things. All the things I have already shown you. If you wanna install this, simply install this build and you are done. Or if needed, you can simply format data if it is not booting for you. This is all from today's video. I hope you like this. If you like this, as always, don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe me. Thanks for watching and goodbye.